and welcome to a new episode of Breaking the Mold. Been having a tough time recently, form's not been the best, and today we've got a big test against Bayern Munich in the Bundesliga. So since you were last with me, form's not been terribly great. We had a really, really poor 0-0 draw against Borussia Mönchengladbach, and then an equally disappointing 0-0 draw against Braga in the Champions League. We did then go on to beat uh, Eintracht Frankfurt 4-3, but shouldn't really be struggling to beat teams like these recently. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what, what I need to change. I don't know what's going wrong. Uh, the, the players are still fit. Nobody's annoyed. The morale's pretty... Well, it was pretty good. It's not now because we're struggling. But I'm not sure what we need to do. Step one, I think, would be beat Bayern. <laughs> we've we've dropped down to fifth in the league. Uh, we're five points behind Bayern, so obviously beating them would be a, a big step towards getting back up to the top end of the table. Uh, we're having a really really disappointing season so far. We've already lost three games. Last season we almost went unbeaten, uh, except for me resting players for Champions League, which cost us a game against Bayern Munich. But that that was my own fault, and my two right backs are injured. Well, one suspended, one injured. Unavailable. We'll use that word. Bracalo still needs a fitness test. Uh, he can play 75 minutes. Uh, do we risk him or do we leave Fernando there? Should we put him on the bench? I think we should. Just in case we need him because he likes, he likes an assist. Uh, I don't want to drop Silva because he's been playing really, really well, but I need to get Haaland back in the team, don't I? But I think it would be really, really harsh of me to drop him for this this game. I'll play Haaland instead of Werner because Werner's struggling this season. I don't know what's wrong with him. Uh, Luis is fit again, so he can go back into the team. Yeah, Belmont's a better choice than Almendra. Uh, defensive wise I think that's the best back four that doesn't make any difference does it no nope. um, well it would be his best back four apart from us as right back we haven't got any option it's the best back four we've got available to us so I think that's the best team I can put out really uh, not a lot of chemistry <laughs> that's not good who have they got Venetius Jr they don't make a lot of signings on Bayern, I've noticed. Who they signed this season? Stefan Meyer, Nico Schultz, Gunter Vildsten, Vinicius Junior is coming on loan. Diego Dem left, I got about 40 grand out of that because obviously he didn't go for a massive amount of money. But, uh, no, Bayern Munich don't change a lot. I thought they might have made some signings this season after like, losing the title to us last year. I don't really need the league table on, but I'm going to have it anyway. If we could win this, it would be a massive turnaround in our season. But I am not expecting to, because things just aren't going in our direction this season. Uh-oh. That was close. <laughs> that defensive line really worries me. I might um, change this a bit to cautious. <laughs> I don't want to... Uh, we concede a lot of early goals. And it's worrying. Venetius Jr. At least my defensive line looks like it's a bit further back now. I noticed in previous games that that ball over the top was just catching us out constantly. Maybe the cautious approach will help with that. Who knows? That's a bad header from Kara. And Venetius Juniors tapped it in. Oh, we're his own enemies. Constantly making mistakes. I want more. Give me more. Loddy. Belmont. It's a good cross. Carries it the crossbar. Almost redeemed himself. Fernando with a corner. I wish it were Bracalo. Pulisic, can you get it back in? Nope. Got us a throw in though. I don't know 
what can we do from it? Get a corner, apparently. <laughs> and Pavicano heads over. Oh, dear me. This is not how I wanted this game to go. Overthrow. Pull stitches on it. Yes! Come on! What all? We're back in level terms. I don't know how it found its way in the net. We were throwing that just evaded everyone. Pulisic managed to get on the end of it. We're back level. Now we need to get that winner. I know it's, we're only 36 minutes in and I'm talking about getting winners, but... <laughs> We've had more clear-cut chances than they have. We're going in at half-time at one all. Go out and prove a point. Yes, we really need to win this game if we're going to catch them. And bear in mind this is an unbeaten Bayern Munich side as well. They have drawn four games this season, so a draw is not a tremendous achievement against them. If we could beat them, that'd be nice. Pulisic is going off, into he? Just going to get sent off. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is what we're at. We are genuinely our own worst enemies. We had a chance to get back in this. We'd equalised. We looked like we were matching them. Oof. And now we're uh, down to 10 men. I'm not, I'm genuinely not expecting to get anything from this match now. Belmont, especially with uh, football like that. Loddy, he's been tackled, and now they're going to counter attack. And there's nobody back. It's a good save. Oh, come on. If we can if we can win this, we've absolutely robbed them. Ricardo needs to come on. Fabio Silva's not doing anything. To be fair, he's not really had an opportunity to do anything. I've not seen him with ball yet. I'll take a draw now. We've got ten men, but it's not going to help us with this... Uh, points deficit in the league is it get it in box go on Dembele come on that's his first goal for us and what a time to get it oh yes come on boys oh no not an immediate highlight no 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 clear it clear it clear it clear it oh come on come and keep this hold it I don't know how we won that. I don't think we deserve to win that. Stats say we do, but I don't think because the football I saw says we do. But 10 men, we beat by Munich. So that gap should now just be two points. That's much better. Oh, what a way to start the video. Well, we've got a much calmer game now against Valencia. <laughs> Uh, we're already group winners of this, so there's not a lot to worry about here. I think I might rotate a little bit. Um, I'm going to put... Actually, Werner, Werner likes to play there. I'm going to put Werner a game. We could do with a few goals, I think, and um, get his confidence up. It's a shame Candido is not registered. Never mind. Uh, who can I give some games to? Um, let's have a look. I think... I don't really want to put Pereira back in and risk him getting injured or anything, so I'll leave that as it is. Um, Montero can have a game. Bella Kotchap can have a game. I don't want to change too much. Um, Florentino Luis has just asked for a new contract, so uh, he's been offered that as well. He wants 130 grand a week, but he wants his, up his minimum fee release clause to 122 million. He's world class. There's no way we're going to say no. So, yeah, it's it's a big wage rise, but we can afford to pay it, and he's, he's immense, so why not? Uh, but I think I'll give him a rest here. Who can I put on the right? I might give Sabitzer a get. In fact, no, Dembele can have a, a start after his goal in the last match. In fact, no, I want to play um, Bellingham. Bellingham needs to get used to this position. 
Uh, Fernando can stay there. I'll put them two up front. If I put Dembele... Dembele's not really had a start, has it? He's had two. Two starts in the league. That's when I've been rotating my team around. Um, Pulisic wanted a rest. So he can have a rest. Uh, Florentino Luis has needed a rest for a while. I think this is a good chance to do it. We've uh, already won this group, so... This game doesn't really matter. Obviously, the morale and the form is useful, but it uh, it makes no difference to uh, where we're going to finish. Is that a penalty? Looks like it. <laughs> nice early penalty. That should calm people down a little bit. Harlan to step up. That's it. 1-0. Why is their stadium like a weird brown? I think it's meant to be the gold that goes on the badge or the yeah, orangey yellowy gold in it, but it just looks like a shit brown. They've equalised. It was a pretty good goal, that, to be fair. Like I say, it doesn't really matter. I just want to give some players some game time. We've got the Champions League draw coming up after this to see how we're getting in the knockout stages, so stay tuned. Just enjoy the serenity of a game that we don't really need to stress about too much. I might have a look at signing Condogbia, actually. Defenders. Bellingham. Well done, lad. Good tackle. Belmont. Almendra. Lodi. Fernando. Bakin. Nope. It's a good chance for me to look at some players like Bellingham and that. That was a fantastic tackle, Bellingham. He's impressing me a lot. The few games he's played, he's done a lot of things right, especially considering he's not natural in that position. Go on, Almandra, get the cross in. Werner, Bellingham, he scored! Wow, <laughs> go on, Jude. That's what we like. I love seeing the young players coming through and start to do well. That, seeing Fabio Silva developing like he is, it's... It gives you like a sense of satisfaction and pride that you found these young players and brought them on and now they're, they're turning into top quality talents. I mean, neither of them were cheap, but I still feel like I could sell them both for profit. Oh, they've equalised again. We we definitely struggle in defence. I mean, I've not changed any... I've only changed centre-backs, haven't I? Bellingham's in again. Oh, double tackle! I like that kid. I'm interested to see who signs him in, the, in real life, because I know a lot, of, a lot of clubs have been linked to him. I think at one point Man United were going to be paying £18 million for him or something. So I'll be very interested to see what happens. And obviously he plays for a club in the same league as uh, the team I support. So I may even get to uh, see him playing against us if he sticks around. And United are winning, even though they missed a penalty. Two all at half time. It's not bad with a rested team. I mean, they should be good enough to win this, really. I did bring these players in so that they could be back up and not just fringe players so they should be good enough to play in the first team it's just obviously there's no gel is there they're not bad players <laughs> oh, I remember this it's uh, the Valencia team that had lots of Chelsea players in it Almandra's in there. Good tackle. Come on, Timo. Oh, what is he doing? I'm offside anyway, but... You can't hit a barn door these days. I hate to say it, but... If a bid comes in, I'd be tempted to sell him, you know. As good as he's been for us over the last three seasons... Two seasons, because this is the third, but two and a bit seasons. 
He's um, just really gone off the boil. And not Susan Boyle. He's got an assist, but he's not pulling up any trees, is he? Let's give uh, the two young lads a, a chance up front. Let's see what they can do. And draw's not a bad result. I think I'm saying that more from my own peace of mind than anything. This this team, even though I've rotated a few players, should still be good enough to win these games. Now we're losing. This is not acceptable. These players should be good enough. Quite me. What's that gone over? Oh dearie me. I need to have a look at this defence, don't I? Because even though the team... The players are decent. There's, there's no doubt about that. The players are decent, but... It's getting caught out so much. With the form that we've been having... I may look at changing my tactic. So I might do that between episodes. Uh, we'll do the Champions League draw now, and then we've got what a few games. We'll see where next next Champions League game fits in. But just before we get into the Champions League draw, I have gone ahead and played the Augsburg game off camera. Uh, we did win 4-3. I thought I was going to give the tactic one last chance to see if uh, I wanted to keep it or not. Um, although we won, I'm getting rid. We were three 0 up, and they pulled it back to three all. Uh, so definitely, definitely going to be changing this tactic now. Uh, we should be spanking teams like this. Um, it's, it's just not, just not working anymore. We've been found out. So uh, between episodes, I'm going to try and uh, tweak this and see what we can do. I'm going to see if we get in the Champions League now, and then see when the game is. So can we avoid Barca, Liverpool, PSG, Real Madrid, Benfica? Man United, Juventus. Uh, we'll also avoid Borussia Dortmund, Bayern Munich, and Wolfsburg. I think. Although I'm not sure at what point you stop getting drawn against your own coefficients. Uh, I won't mind Genk. I'd be quite happy taking on Genk. I don't think you can get Roma because they came through our group. Right, so Genk are at home against Liverpool. City are at home. <laughs> oh, we got City again. Oh, what? How many times have I played City now? So, like, last season. Pretty sure we played them last season at some point in the Champions League. There they are, look, yep. Knockout round. Lost 3 2, then 1 4 1. Season before, they were in the group with us. Beat us twice, and that, so every season so far we've had Man City in the Champions League. <sighs> right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some progress here, so I'm gonna actually come back for the City game. So I'm gonna off camera. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Bundesliga games and a cup a cup match. With a new tactic, see how we get along. Um, I'll update you when we get back, and uh, we'll try and knock Man City out of the Champions League again, like we did last season. So, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that episode. If you have, please leave a like on the video, show your support, uh, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications to keep up to date with my FM20 content. <laughs>